Hey guys. Did you know that you can increase and change certain stats through the appointment of a lieutenant guard? See the explanation, I will try to explain it in detail. Straight to, as we saw each guard can have two lieutenants. But without spending then we need time for the process of opening a lieutenant position. And all you need to do is do the daily quest, to collect the daily reward in the form of an appointment order. And if you are a spender then you can buy the bundle you will also get guard exp. Then on the daily deal. Now let's talk about the benefits first. As we know all guards provide additional stats, including lieutenant appointments. Except for these two guards. Did you notice that each appointed guard provides specific benefits, such as in the position of Captain i.e. D'Artagnan? We can see the statistics given by this guard, in addition to the statistics of troops, this guard provides health statistics for distance, cavalry, and infantry. As well as the appointed lieutenant. We can see the benefits are also for health, distance, and cavalry. Then in the position of a strategist, the benefits are for defense, so did the lieutenant. Next, position enforcer, provides statistics for the attack as well as appointed lieutenant. Then the next position for health again. Next defense. And the last, attack again. So there are each, 2 for health, 2 for defense and 2 for attack for each appointed guard and lieutenant. Then tips for the appointment of a lieutenant. As we see here, apart from standard benefits, there are also star benefits. So guards who have more stars will give us more additional stats. And usually every player has these two guards with quite a lot of stars, for old players it may be maximum both if the pieces are not used to unlock the fifth guard skill. So we can use those guards to get extra stats, because we only need to appoint those guards during research, upgrading buildings, and training troops. We can leave the position vacant, or use another guard for a while. Then we can use the guard to get additional stats by appointing as lieutenant to increase certain stats. As we discussed earlier you can choose what stats you want to increase, whether health, defense or attack. So the appointment of this guard is like a war mode, similar to a lord talents. Where there is a war mode, economy, and balance. And whenever you want to train troops, research, and upgrade buildings, always remember to change guard positions, in order to save resources and speed up. Now I will do a trial to see the difference in benefits. I personally think the amount of resource reduction is not that significant, but the most important thing for me is speed up. This is the time it will take now to research this, 13.5 hours. First, let's appoint the guard. After that appoint a lieutenant. I will use this guard, which has 6 stars. So I get a 15% bonus benefit. You can see the difference in the time it takes and the resources. So don't forget to reappoint the best guard when researching. So does the lieutenant. And once that's done, 
we can re-release the guard and lieutenant for previous research. So we can use that guard to be a lieutenant in another position. Next to upgrade the building. This is the amount of resources and time required. Now I will change guard and lieutenant. I will use 5 star guard first. This is the amount of resources and time after replacing the guard. And the difference from before. Next I want to try using a 6 star lieutenant, to see what's different about a 5 star guard. I'll use this guard as a lieutenant, and see what's different with the 15% bonus. The time has not changed at all. But there is a slight difference in the amount of resources. If we can be more efficient why not? Next, the most important thing is to train troops. As you can see this guard has advantages in addition to building it also provides troop training speed. And the more stars the percentage also increases. So if don't ignore this guard, although rarely used for combat but can help you train troops faster. Unless you have a Jacob Van Helsing guard with more stars, then you can ignore this guard, and use the guard pieces for something else. This suggestion is for the new kingdom. Because the old kingdom is usually maxed out. Previously, we dismissed the guard first to see the time, so we could see the difference. I will set the amount of 1000 troops. So the normal time is 23 hours. Without the benefit of guard. And now it's less than 17 hours. With the same number of 1000 troops. So the guards that I have can save about 5 hours for every 1000 troops. And to train 1 million troops means I will save 5000 hours. For an appointed lieutenant, it doesn't seem to have any effect on troop training. But let's see. I'll use a 6 star lieutenant to see if the 15% bonus has any effect. So, nothing has changed at all. And a 15% bonus from the lieutenant appointment, that's just for building and research cost reductions. I hope you can understand what I just explained. And could take full advantage of the lieutenant appointment. And now I'm going to set the guard and lieutenant to war mode again. So here's my guard and lieutenant set up in war mode. I only need to change it when training troops, upgrading buildings, and doing research. But there is one more thing you can do to change the stats. If you have two guards like this, then you can make changes to the statistics. So you can appoint Count Roquefort with 4 stars as captain, and use D'Artagnan who is 6 stars as lieutenant, the goal is to get a 15% bonus. Let's test. These are statistics now. Now we change the position.
This is for defense. But my defense is already high enough than the others. I thought I would use it for health. Because for attack, I've used 6 star guard for lieutenant. Now let's see the comparison. My cavalry health, increased by 80%. Distance health also increases by 5%. But my troop attack stats decreased by 17%. And also infantry health reduced by 26%. So this method besides having advantages there are also disadvantages. So it depends on which stats you want to increase, it's just a way to change the stats you should know, so you can choose what you want and need. Apart from that there are other changes. I.e. the marching capacity is reduced by 2000. And the rally capacity is also reduced by 15000. So please choose for yourself which one do you think is better in this case. Thanks for watching. See you.